Well, Tom Mando, here we are. We were talking about sort of what's new in the 21st century and what we got to do about it. And you had some interesting observations. So just talk with me a little bit. What was okay. that about? What's uh, happened? A wax eloquent. <laughs> the uh, I think what I was saying, and I'll, I'll resume it real quickly, was that when we first started uh, to use computers uh, for, for individuals, we were in a mode where we suddenly became possible to solve problems that we couldn't solve before. So, for example, we were able to do financial analysis, we were able to create documents and so forth. We were really able to kind of move out of the way the obstacles to extending what knowledge work could do. And, uh, as time, and that really was what the personal computer revolution was about. So as time passed, we and more became possible, we became, it became possible to use these things as a way to create an, an, an attack, frame and, frame and attack opportunities. Also a really great step forward, but we're really in a, lo a lot of ways way beyond all that. And what the real import is of the latest generation of technologies and especially the social technologies and what's coming forward from, from what we now think of as social technologies is the possibility to increase people's exposure to serendipity. In other words, to make it possible for more things to happen that are not what could have been predicted, that are not what could have been structured as a project, that are not a matter of, of, of untying a knot or, or even tying several knots to secure something, but rather are a matter of extending the way we can be in the world that exposes us to the possibility of things happening that we couldn't have predicted, wouldn't have predicted, and that wouldn't otherwise happen. And what this does is allow you to extend enormously what you can do in the world. And so in, in that sense, it's a really, really great and important step forward. And I don't think it's really being quite understood yet. And especially, I don't think that corporations really understand what the possibilities are here if you increase the chances of serendipity, if you increase the, increase the ability of people to find, easily and in their path, both the knowledge they need in the world, among their colleagues, outside their limited scope of their colleagues, but beyond knowledge to find insight, interaction, that, e that they that they didn't know they needed or that they didn't know would make a difference. I think if most people look at their lives and their work, they'll understand that the most important things that happened to them could never have been predicted. Anybody who looks at his life, at who he's married to or who she's married to, will understand what the series of accidents were that made that possible. Well, start thinking about how that works in, in work, in, your, in the history of your work life, in the most productive things you do in your work life, in the way you see what a productive work life is. Well, you know, I agree with you so much. If, if we thought of what it's like to be a manager or just a, a professional in this new environment, how, how does that change work or what the definition of work is or what we're supposed to do when we come to work in the morning? Well, I don't think any, I, I, I don't think we're, we're talking about a world in which all of a sudden the structure of work as a set of projects, for example, goes away. <clears throat> it doesn't go away. There are always going to be projects. But the most valuable um, contributions that people make are typically based on the encounters that they have in situations that they couldn't have predicted, where they provide insight or difference, whatever the form of that difference is, that couldn't have been predicted, or where they receive that kind of difference and that kind of impact in ways that couldn't have been predicted. And that is what we're starting to be able to think of ourselves as having a platform for, mm. which we never had before. Mm. And that's a huge difference, a huge difference, enormous. So in ways, part of the, the new responsibility to be able to take advantage of this, to be in this environment where serendipity is more likely to take hold, is to understand a bit about the platform, 
and have confidence that by doing so, you, it's almost karma that you'll be rewarded yeah. Yeah. if you're yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah, that's a great way of putting it. It's almost karma. It's a, you know, it's a way of, it's a, well, you know, to be open and to be uh, looking in a way that isn't overly focused and to be able to see what is not directly in the center of your vision. And I think we all understand that, that the people who are able to do that have always been the ones who somehow managed to make the maximal contribution in work, in friendship, in life, in love, in, in whatever. And what makes it nice now is to that, that the scope of that is so very much bigger. And the scope of, the, of surprise, the scope of, of, of life enhancement from the border, from the margin, from the side, is so much larger now. And there's no set, no question, but that makes is going to make a huge, huge difference. And it's not really a difference you can calculate. What you have to do is you have to have the understanding, and from the understanding, the belief, and from the belief, the commitment, and from the commitment, the actions that make it possible for this world to emerge. And those that do, to you know, to reduce it to its simplest form, those that do, organizations that do and individuals that do, teams that do, have advantage over others. And those advantages, that advantage will pay off. It will pay off. Tom, thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Just, just hearing this, I had a new management dictum, which is keep your eye off the ball. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, thanks so much. It's my pleasure. <laughs>